Good morning and welcome back to the Terra Firma Punks modded surfer. Uh, it's been about a week since I've been on here. Uh, I apologize for missing out last week. My computer up and died on me and uh, I've been struggling to get it fixed. Uh, apparently it needed a new power supply. Uh, the one that it had before was underpowered for dual video cards and all the fans that I have in it. So, yeah, it uh, it went kaput. So I had to buy another one. I had to plug it in and get it up and running. Um, it's actually been sitting at home for about a day, two days. Um, I was playing The Sims. <laughs> uh, one of the... One of the games that my old machine can run. Uh, I tried, I tried running the um, what is it? I tried running this pack on my old machine, but it couldn't handle it at all. I get two frames a second, maybe ten at most. It's just really bad. So I said, nope, I'm not even gonna try. Um, but here I am back. Uh, hopefully this episode goes out on Sunday. I'm recording it on Saturday. And uh, there's a little construction project going on behind me in my room. Uh, looks like a window is getting replaced with an air conditioner. Because it's going to be really, really hot this summer. So I'm going to put... Uh, I've got somebody putting an air conditioner in behind me. So... Let's, uh, let's see if we can catch up on what's been going on. There's a lot of stuff over there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and describe what I did in the last week, and then we're going to come back and we're going to look at what these guys have got going on. And uh, hopefully that should fill up uh, an episode. So uh, let's get to it. All right, how do I get down? I um, finally figured out how to get on the roof without using uh, Smart Moving. Uh, not a big fan of that mod. Uh, it was cool in the beginning, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of makes me, it <laughs> kind of drives me nuts. Uh, yeah, there is quite a few mods in here that I'm not entirely happy with, but people have requested, so I've gone ahead and put them in. All right, the fog has cleared. Let's, uh, let's head on over. Oh, I remember why I came over here in the first place. I needed a sword. I needed to see if there was any swords, any extra swords. The, just a gold one, it looks like. Uh, or brass, I should say, the brass one. Uh, I don't want a brass one. I'll have to come back and get another... Was there a decent axe, though? Yeah, there's a decent axe. I can use that as a weapon. Uh, how much damage does that do? 115? That's not bad. A uh, couple of wax to a zombie. Should be fine. So, uh, Mick is getting closer to finishing up the restaurant he has on top of the cellar. I believe that's the last episode that we did, was him working on the cellar. Um, I've gone ahead and rotated the crops again. So A is all the way over here when it started way over there. Um, here is a lane of fallow so that the nutrients can come back. Although I don't believe it's needed this time around because these guys have left the, the crops alone for a whole season or even two seasons. I don't know. Um, a whole year has gone by. Oh, and, and happy birthday to Biox. <laughs> all right uh happy birthday biox that's that's great um and then i've got a whole new set of jute down um we'll come back and look at the restaurant here in a little bit um looks like mick's last episode he put out he actually made a table for one so uh thank you for the table uh there mick uh okay so um, last week, or the week before last, before my computer went out, I was working on this, oh, he finally killed his first, <laughs> his first ant, uh, grats, yeah, finally finished it, uh, killed his first ant, so, 
I was leveling all this out. It was all really very hilly around here. So I, uh, I flattened it out. I planted fruit trees Aw, he killed a baby ant. That's no that's cheating. <laughs> um and then the fruit trees I did what um Packrat has done in his in his fruit area is put them up on these little blocks. Uh I don't know why. It actually makes it harder to get to the fruit when you do that. We did have uh, fruit coming in here in uh, July, so we're getting back into the food. I don't know why people weren't uh, trimming it in the cellar. Nobody was checking on it, so it was spoiling and just going bad. So it went it went bad pretty quickly. Uh, there's no ice in it. Um, we'll probably be doing a, a winter um, heading north. I've got a spot marked out where it starts to snow and stuff. So I've got all those trees. Um, I haven't labeled what these are yet. I'd like to do it kind of similar to what, what uh, Packrat has, where he's got uh, a box here with all the saplings and then a sign or something that says what it is. But here is all of the saplings we've got so far. Aspen, I think we're getting a lot of these from quest books. And then here is going to be where our rubber trees are going to go for a rubber farm. If somebody wants to get started on that. And willow trees, of course, got a lot of willow trees. Probably see willow trees being turned into charcoal at this point. But that's the wood that we have. Uh, I'd like to expand this. Maybe take it farther out that way or farther out that way. Definitely, definitely farther out this way. Uh, there's room, there's easily room for it. Room for it here. All this plot, I can fill it in with dirt. I think I've got enough dirt from leveling this out that I can fill all this in. If not, I can fill it in with sand and cobble or something. So let's go check out the restaurant. We'll do that real quick. And then we'll get to looking into what the other guys have got. And it looks like the server isn't up to date. So we're actually missing out a lot of uh, features that we could have in the 2.3 version. So this is the... 2.0, or still on the 2.0 version, so a few things have been added in the 2.3 that we're not using here in 2.0. Um, he's got a corn set up, he's got, he didn't make bowls, okay, <laughs> all right, all right, buddy. Um, a glass door, that's interesting. I like the arches. I want to see what he's going to do with the roof, though. Torches all over the place. That's why I was getting spawns up here earlier. Minotaurs coming down from above. So, maybe get some of those nifty uh, lanterns. The metal, the gold, and the platinum, and the silver lanterns would be nice. What's he got in the box? <laughs> I heard some beef table all right so what's next on the corner uh i hear this is a potion shop and this is one of those things that i was talking about if if we get the update to 2.3 this potion shop will not be nearly as uh necessary well i mean once the, with the barrels yeah um because I've added, I've added some recipes that you you no longer need this um, brewing stand. You can actually get all of your potions from barrels, so it makes things a lot easier. Um, you don't need glistering melons. Uh, I haven't found a way to get melons to work in this pack. 
So that's that. But they do have they do have soul sand, and they've got uh, nether wart going. Awesome! All the chests, the bone needle, nice. Uh, there was a really great episode where Spud is chasing, um, what's his name? Uh, Voodoo Beard. He's sneaking around, sneaking around with a bone needle in his hand, trying to stab him so he can get, uh, enough, uh, a jar of blood to make the, uh, the, the nether rack. And this, I believe, is Nemsen's? Yeah, these are the lanterns I was talking about. Uh, the probably want to put some of these lanterns up in the or these style of lanterns up in the um, the kitchen or the restaurant to light here. I think that would look nice. Uh, we do have a lot of options for lanterns, so that's just one of them. Oh, he's got all of the rocks. That that's crazy. He's even got rocks that we don't even have yet. So wow, gravel, dirt, sand, and then he's got this sifting station uh, is there anything we can sift uh, we've got a little bit of gravel so I'm gonna go ahead and do that up and I got a flower pot very nice uh, dusts dusts oh nuggets nice vanilla resources nice are those those are um, TFC bowls why are they in the vanilla resources I should go give those to, to Mick so he can make up his oh you've got minotaurs hey buddy get out of here get 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 yay we have pork in the cellar alright um Let's go hook up Mick with his uh, cooking table things. Oh, I got a painting. So, knife plus bowl on smooth surface equals that. Knife plus bowl. Oh, he has this thing. Um, can't do it with the thing there. So, yeah. Sorry, Mick, but that has to go. <laughs> and I'll stick a knife up there for it. Lost my axe. Oh, well. Uh, red caps. Ooh, spiders. Hey. Spinderator. All the spindlies. Sorry, Pack. I'm killing your spindlies. <laughs> Spindles. Come on. Here we go. Got some string. Saplings. I hear another one. Here's something. Where it is. All right. Let's stick this painting up here in the in the thing in the, in the dining hall. All right. Um. Did I see a hat that I want? Yeah, there's there's a hat. Come on, Spindly. Where's that hat guy? Oh boy. Okay, that's an infernal one. I don't want to mess with that. I saw a guy with a hat. Where did he go? Okay, I'm not seeing the hat anymore. But let's make a run for the blacksmith. All right, blacksmith. We're, uh, we're running pretty long here. Well, not really. I wanted to make this kind of a short episode to show off things and then uh, put it out a full episode next week. So this is Spud's blacksmith. He's got two bunnies, Bill and Ted, the bodacious bunnies. <laughs> All right, the giant sword. Uh, some armor we got from the dungeons, a mace. 
spiders stuck in the windows. Um, so here's the bloomery. He did a nice job chiseling it out. But, uh, ah, here, we have a way to get up. Alright, it's not too bad. And then I believe he's going to put the blast furnace over here. And then, there's so much badness out there. Not really. Uh, that one guy, yeah, that... That infernal spindly is going to be a pain. Oh boy, got to sneeze. I was trying to show off the wood shop, but uh, <laughs> I'm getting overrun here. The, uh, the Coke oven shop is actually what it is. Hey, did you just jump? Oh yeah, these guys, uh, those guys don't swim. Wow, I cannot get away from them. <laughs> That's great. Oh, hey look, it's stolen. Go away. Another one? Another infernal spider. That's just great. So, I think I'm going to sit here and cower inside of my little boulder hut, and uh, I'm going to call it a night. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, hee hee hee.